Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up Netplay to play Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube with your buddies. This is a very specific way to get Netplay working on your computer, which is uh, what I'm going to teach you. So this is how it is done. So you need two physical things, okay? You need two physical things. Your, your first physical thing is a GameCube controller. So get yourself a nice little GameCube controller. The next thing you need is a GameCube controller adapter. So you get yourself one of these suckers. This is the Wii U version of the GameCube controller adapter. There's other ones out there. I don't know how to get Netplay working with the other ones, but I know how to get it working with the Wii U GameCube controller adapter. So you can go out and buy one of these. Okay, so this is what we do. So make sure you get your GameCube controller. Make sure you get your GameCube controller adapter. Once you have those two crucial things, all you gotta do is you gotta download three things, okay? You gotta download the emulator. The emu- the- the- it's called Dolphin Emulator, okay? Dolphin Slippy Emulator. The second thing you need is the dig, and the third thing you're gonna need is the Super Smash Bros. Melee Nintendo GameCube ROM, okay? So you go to Google, you know, I got Google open right here. You type in Dolphin Slippy. Slippy is the version of emulator that you need. Very- very specific version. Then you go to Downloads. Project Slippy, click on download, and you get that sucker to download on your computer. Okay, now just leave it in your downloads folder for now. Leave that sucker in your downloads folder. Second thing you want to download is something called Zadig. Okay. So you go to you go to Google, type in Zadig, and then you click on this link right here. Zadig USB driver installation made easy. This is the driver that allows your GameCube controller adapter to talk to your computer. Okay. You go, you scroll down to where it says download. You want to download this version right here, 2.4. So go to Google, download Super Smash Bros. Melee version 1.02. Download that sucker. It should be an ISO. It's like seven or eight gigabytes or something like that. If you see uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee version 1.02, that's seven or eight gigabytes. That's an ISO, uh, ISO extension. Download that sucker. That's that. That's the ROM. Okay, that's the ROM. Okay, so now you have your three things downloaded. You have your Dolphin emulator. You have your Zadig drivers. And then you have your ROM. Next thing you want to do is you want to put your Super Smash Bros. Melee Nintendo uh, GameCube ROM into a folder on your desktop. So you, you go to go to new, new folder. You can rename it ROM. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call mine ROMs. Next thing you want to do is you want to open Dolphin. Okay, you want to install Dolphin and you want to open it. Once you install it, you should be able to open it. It should look like this. It should look exactly like this. Let me get a better look at this. There you go. So this is what it should look like. So you got your ROMs folder right there in the middle of your desktop, right? And then you have Dolphin. This is your emulator. Slippy R18. It should say Dolphin cannot find any GameCube Wii ISOs or WADs. Double click here to set a games directory. So what do you want to do? You double click here. So make sure you double click here. Go to your desktop. Go to your desktop and then you go to ROMs. So it's right here. It should look a little something like this. But I have since I have so many games, this is what my my Dolphin emulator is gonna look like. Yours should literally only have Super Smash Bros. Melee right here at the top, which should look a little something like that right there. You see that? Where it says Super Smash Bros. Melee? That's all. That's literally all it is. So the next thing we want, we want to do, do you remember the dig? Remember that we download that? You want to open that up? You want to install it? Go to your downloads folder. Go to the dig. And make sure you have your GameCube controller adapter connected to the USB port of your computer, which looks a little something like this. This is a USB port. Uh, this is a USB uh, connector. Okay. Put this into your computer. Find the USB port. Put it into your computer. Plug your GameCube controller into your GameCube controller adapter. You want to put it in the first slot, okay? The first slot on this specific GameCube controller adapter is going to be the one on the on the very left side. So, like so, put that sucker in. Okay, now you're good to go. Should look a little something like this. Okay, next thing you do is you go to options, you go to list all devices. Okay, next thing you want to do is you click on the drop down menu, go down to where it says WUP-028, right there, WUP-028. And then right here it should say install driver. Select this button right here. We're gonna start Netplay. Let's go to tools, 
once you once you're done with all that, you go to tools and then you go start uh, start net play. So there's there's two people in a, in a net play session. Okay, there's two people in a net play session at, at minimum. There's a host and there's people that connect to the host. So I'm gonna teach you the the, the way that you connect to or the way that you play uh, by by being the host. So all you gotta do is where it says here host you want to select host right here make sure you select super smash bros melee you select host right here okay since you're the host you have to you have the responsibility to grab this code this is what the screen is going to look like so you have the responsibility to grab this code right here so my code is 1c0dfb55 you want to select copy so give the code to your buddy and then your buddy's going to go here tools start net play and then where it says host code you want to delete that and then you want to put in, you want to put in the code that your buddy gave you, okay? The, you want to put in the code that your, your that your buddy gave you, and then you select connect. He should be in your game. You guys should be almost ready to go. You were not done yet. I still got to teach you uh, one or two little things left. So assuming your buddy does show up in your game, your buddy's gonna show up right here. He's gonna show up right here or right below you. This is what the the screen looks like. This is your chat room. This is how you guys can communicate with each other online. Let's say you guys are a little shy and you guys don't want to talk to each other through voice comms. It, uh, that's cool. Dolphins got you covered. There's a, there's a voice command. There's a voice chat. So you can type in, hi, um, you know, yeah, yes, I beat you, 5-0. Okay, so that's the chat room. The next thing I'm gonna teach you guys is the, the buffer. So, so if you get into a game, the game starts lagging. So, yeah, you know, and you're like, why is my game lagging? The reason is, is that you haven't set your buffer, okay? The re uh, so you have, to, you have to increase your buffer depending on, uh, like, the distance you are from your from your, from your your buddy. If your buddy has a Wi-Fi connection and he doesn't have a, a cable connection, an Ethernet cable connection, then there's gonna that's going to cause lag. If your buddy is on the West Coast and you're on the East Coast, that's going to cause a lot of lag. So, um, preferably you would want to play for your, with your buddy that lives in the same region as you or on the, like on the same coast as you or on the same like state or a couple states away that, that, that would work perfectly. Usually if, if you are playing with somebody that's in the same state or same like area as you, you want to set your buffer to like eight, the lower the buffer, the better. If you can get away with it, you want to select, you want to select the, so select the buffer, put it at eight and then this is, uh, this is what, so this is with a buddy that's kind of close to wh where you live. Okay. So, um, if, if he lives a, like two states away or three or four states away or f even five states away, you probably want to set the buffer at like 10. You probably want to set the buffer at 10. If he lives on the West coast, you got to set the buffer at like 15. You got to, you, you literally got to set the buffer at 15. But typically if you're on the East coast and you're connecting to somebody on the, in the Midwest, you should be able to get away with the connection of, uh, of 10 buffer. Um, but yeah, usually if you connect to somebody on the, on the other side of the country, you, you probably want to use like a 15 buffer. If like if your guys' connections are really bad or if one has like really bad internet, I connect with Chillin' Dude all the time uh, through Netplay. We're able to get away with a 10 buffer, and it works perfectly. We're able to practice. So, and he's on the West Coast, I'm on the East Coast. So, just to give you like an example of how that works. Next thing you do is you select Start. You select Start. There you go, and it should work. So, if it doesn't work the first time, unplug your USB. Uh, the, the USB connected to the to your computer plug it back in Restart dolphin and it should work like just like what happened to me. So that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace